Howdy y'all, um, this is Miss Kosh. Let's, I had a, a video from last year that I wanted to follow up on a little bit with direction versus, and magnitude versus component form when we talk about vectors. Um, one thing that it can be a little bit confusing um, and it pulls in things that we've talked about in the past. Um, say we've got the component form, um, I, I don't know, say it's negative five, negative 12. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a vector that if we were to draw this um, and we started at the origin, say, say our vector is beginning at the origin, we've gone negative 5 in the x direction and negative 12 in the y direction. So we have done something like this where we, we've got this, this vector here that its components are negative 5 and negative 12. And yes, you may notice that the magnitude is 13, and that's pretty straightforward. Um, here's, here's the thing that I want you to be careful about. Um, so the direction, well, the magnitude is 13, whatever my units are. I didn't label them, and I'm not overly concerned at this point. But we have a magnitude of 13. Now, when we want to find theta, you have to be careful on how you describe this, how you label it, and that's why I'm making this video. Um, we, we know that if we, well, so here's, here's what I see. Um, if this is theta right here, then I have tangent of theta um, you know what, let's call this, let's not call it theta, well, let's go ahead and we'll call it theta. This is going to be equal to opposite, so negative 12 over um, adjacent is negative 5. Well, keep in mind, when I pick up my calculator and plug in inverse tangent um, or arc tangent of 12 over 5, that's going to put me in quadrant 1. Okay, so my inverse tangent is going to live in one of these two quadrants. So what I need to be careful about when I do these problems is making sure I'm in the correct quadrant. So with this particular problem, you could tell me the magnitude is 13 and the direction, if you're talking unit circle, you could tell me the direction is arc tan, uh, what did we say, 12 over 15, but then we need to add... Well, typically we do vectors in degrees and not radians. So, um, and it's kind of, a, I mean, if you, you could add 180 or you could add pi. Okay, so IB tends to do this in, well, what do I, maybe we're more likely to be in radians with IB, but we're more likely to do vectors in degrees for pre-cal, but it could go both ways. Um, so we can also... If, we, if you write it, if you describe it uh, this way right here, then I'm going to assume that is, everything is based off of the unit circle, okay? Um, however, we might want to say that it has, it's a certain, um, we could say that it's, I can't get a whole sentence out, I'm so sorry. What we could say is we could describe it in terms of north, south, east, and west, okay? So if they had put me here in quadrant four, and this is why I would draw the quadrant so I know what I'm talking about. Um, we have this up here, well, here's north, here's east, here's south, here's west. And so we could describe this as this angle theta is a certain amount south of west. So we could say it has a, a magnitude, magnitude of 13, and the direction could be arc tan 12 over 15, 12 over 5, sorry, 12 over 5 south of west. Okay, and if you describe it that way, then you don't need to add the 180. Or you could say that it is, um, it's this measure right here west of south. So you'd have to change the triangle that you're looking at or, and rewrite that, or you could describe it as, um, well, or you could figure out what those values are. Grab a calculator and figure out what they are. And then we know that theta and then this one that I marked here um, are going to be complementary to each other. They add up to 90 degrees. So I hope that makes sense. You could also describe it as um, a negative angle that starts here and goes to, to this value, you know, going that way. But I think that that's less likely to be something that we're looking for. So Always, always, always draw these on, um, on a grid so you have a sense of, of what you need to do. Let's do one more, um, and hopefully I can, I can say everything correctly the first time. <laughs> okay, so let's pretend we'll do another triple. 
Um, let's say we've got the vector, um, well, three, four, five. Okay, so let's go negative three, positive four. So if I have that vector, I've gone three units in my x direction, so I've come out this way, and then four units in my y direction, that's a little bit more. And so we're looking at something like this is our vector if we start at the origin. So this is a negative three and a positive four. So this magnitude, yes, I did this on purpose. It's a three, four, five triangle. So its magnitude is five. Um, hopefully you remember we would do Pythagorean theorem if it's, um, I mean, we are doing Pythagorean theorem, but if it's not a nice, pretty answer, um, we would just keep the, the square root and that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so it's a magnitude of five. And then what we can look at here is to find this theta getting us to here. Keep in mind that arc tan is only going to, it's going to live, it's going to give me this value right here. So if I, when I say arc tan of, or if I say theta is equal to arc tan of, what does this become? Um, negative four thirds. Then what I have to do is that's taken me in the negative direction. I need to add 180 to be in the correct quadrant. Okay, so we would say something like that. Or we could say that it's arc tan, um, that many, it's arc tan of negative four thirds um, north of west. Okay, let's practice some more and make sure that we're up to speed on this. There is a worksheet that, that'll help you kind of pay attention to what you're doing. My recommendation, draw the picture. Okay, good luck, go practice.